Hi there, hello and welcome to the channel. The addiction today is the secrets to Dell farming in WoW, so please grab that coffee and get comfy and let's start making even more insane gold with Delves. Before I start, I must point out one key factor regarding farming for profane tinder boxes in the war within. Like with my previous video on this topic, this video has nothing to do with any form of cheats or exploits that may be in the game. As farmers, we are simply running delves as intended and only to farm for the end chests we get as a reward for completing them, that is all, nothing more nothing less. I have been farming and testing all delves currently in game, for a faster method to obtaining profane tinder boxes in the war within. And after many happy hours farming away, testing each story each delve has to offer, I would like to share my results to you. Not only have I found a viable way to farm for ringing deep ingots, I have also found a faster option to farming profane tinder boxes, so let's get started. I will not be showing all the current delves in game within this video, there is simply no point sorry. Not every delve is suited for farming reagents due to the layout of the delve or certain annoying mechanics and roleplay slowing down run times. Instead, and to save on time, I will be showing you my top 3 delves for farming, profane tinder boxes, ringing deep ingots, and other reagents. Giving you a quick breakdown on each delve, the routes I use, and this new shortcut I found in one. So starting with number 3, and that would be, the Takrithan Abyss, located in Ajkarhead. This particular delve is currently the fastest solo farming delve in game, with my run times taking around 2 minutes 30 seconds on average per run and on a paladin. Sadly however, after countless runs within this delve, I did not obtain any profane tinder boxes at all, instead only receiving Gloom Fathom Hide. To be able to achieve sub 3 minute run times here does require the correct story to be active also when farming, and Pheromone Fury is perfectly made for this task. How this works is extremely simple. All that you need to do is to just ignore every single group of mobs in this delve, simply run to each crate location, touching each one as you fly past them, all the way to the end boss. Where we kill everything with cleave or any AoE skills you may have. Then claim your rewards, teleport out of the delve and simply rinse and repeat the process, it is that easy and yes, that fast. But as I have stated, I have yet to obtain a single profane tinder box from this location, as it just feels like they have been replaced by gloom fathom hide. Instead of boxes, receiving gloom fathom hides as a possible reward from the end chests for a completed run, and this is the sole reason why it is third on my list. The next delve on my list is called the Waterworks, located within the Ringing Deeps, and is home to the Ringing Deep Ingot Farm. There is no particular story we are able to run that can speed up run times, as this delve is pretty much linear, running from the start straight to the end boss and without any possible shortcuts. Like with the previous delve, I have yet to obtain any profane tinder boxes and instead, only receiving Ringing Deep Ingots as a replacement for the end chest reward. Which further makes me think, that certain delves, will only drop certain end game reagents based on the zone they are in, as that is how it comes across from my results so far. Run times in the earth and water works on a paladin is around the 6 minute mark on average, which is not ideal for fast run times for ringing deep ingots. But it is a viable option however, and it's why I am placing this delve at number 2 on my list. So, of course that would make the Nightfall Sanctum within Hallow Falls, the best delve currently in game to farm for profane tinder boxes, even after the hot fixes to Bran. Plus all the recent changes and delve updates. But now it has become even faster thanks to a rather handy shortcut I discovered a few days ago. Which now makes average run times on a paladin, going from 5 minutes down to a very fast and respectful, 3 minutes 30 seconds average, and again, on a paladin. So allow me to show you how this is done. As you start your run within the Nightfall Sanctum, you will come to this location paused on screen. After killing this group of mobs, instead of continuing down the stairs to the next group of mobs and quest item, simply ignore them and jump up the platform as you see me doing now. 
swim across the water, dodging the patrolling group of mobs on the other side. Simply swim across and run straight up the path and continue on with your run. With this particular story, we only need to activate a certain number of lamps, and there is more than enough lamps, further into the run. Allowing us to just simply bypass at least 1 minute 30 seconds worth of pointless combat, which is not needed. Just continue up the path, activating all other lamps along the way, and then murder the boss and hope you get lucky with a profane tinder box from the chests as a reward for doing so. Rinse and repeat, just now with even faster run times, you're welcome. Some players may suggest or even comment, saying that this just does not work, or this has been nerfed, well I would like to quickly answer this general misconception. As of the 2nd of October 2024, this method to farming profane tinder boxes still works. When I made my previous video, I was sitting on 35 boxes at the end of that recording. Now, and after all recent changes to delves, I am currently sitting on 65 profane tinder boxes and only 255 completed delve runs in total. Believe me if you want to or not, that is your call, just know one thing. You can find me in the Nightfall Sanctum delve if you would like further proof which I am more than happy to show to you whenever required. So, this video was about the Gloom Fathom Speed Farm, the Ringing Deep Ingot Farm, and this extremely handy shortcut for even faster run times within the Nightfall Sanctum, complete. Thank you so much for watching, please be quick by jumping onto these farms, before they are destroyed by the normal culprits, it's bound to happen. For me however, weekly reset is almost finished, so it's back to farming I go, so until the next one, unlike normal farmers, stay away from the crazy people and please stay warm and safe out there.